This is Twit. Today, eBay basically announced that PayPal is spinning off and that both of the companies will uh, live on as separate entities, publicly traded companies, in 2015. So uh, there has been pressure from investors. Activist investor Carl Icahn basically demanded that eBay do this, I don't know, some months ago, I think about nine months ago. Why do you think the two companies have decided to split now? Well, I think that the environment now is a little bit different in the payment space than it was nine months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, back then, we were all kind of talking about uh, Apple jumping into payments as a theoretical thing that they could do. It was expected to happen sometime late this year. Turned out those rumors were correct, but the pressure wasn't there nine months ago. And I think now it is. Um, I think that eBay is looking at the payments business. It sees that while PayPal is doing well, I mean, it had like six and a half billion dollars in revenue last year, it was growing by a fifth year over year, you know, that's a big ship to manage along with, you know, dealing with your own things. That's a separate, you know, industry. Like, I think that it's, things got more complicated. They see that PayPal is, you know, a big on its own and it, they'd be better for both of them to be able to focus on their own priorities. I always thought it was somewhat of an odd acquisition when PayPal went under the eBay umbrella. Of course, you know, payments are a big part of how people are, you know, buying and selling and auctioning, and that's how eBay works. So that that part of it makes sense to me. Does it change anything for eBay, you think, going forward when PayPal no longer becomes something that eBay can control? Well, I mean, eBay transactions were already only about 29% of uh, PayPal's overall volume, and it's expected, you know, Morningstar predicts that in three years that could drop down to 15 So... Overall, the actual relationship between them wasn't, you know, the tie between them wasn't exactly important to PayPal in the grand scheme of things. It was becoming less so over time as it became more and more general purpose. As far as e eBay goes, I think that payments are becoming um, not easier, but I mean, when they've been in that space themselves for so long, I think that they're a little bit less worried about needing to rely on them. So while I'm sure that they'll probably be partners going forward for a long time, I wouldn't be surprised also to see eBay, you know, roll its own systems, especially if Bitcoin, which it's saying it'll support one day. And like, if those things actually become mainstream, maybe eBay, you know, won't have to rely on any services like that at all. You know, PayPal has such brand recognition, uh, but I know that a lot of people who have, have, have known and loved PayPal and, and now have a lot of other options that have cropped up over the years, you know, PayPal sometimes is thought of as kind of, eh, it's a, it's the old web way of doing things. It, it, uh, it, it's sort of, been left to languish a bit. Now you've got something like Apple Pay and there are, you know, there's there's companies like Amazon and there's Square and mobile payment is a very hot space. How much do you think that some of these, well, let's not call Apple a startup, but some of the more startup models plus something like Apple Pay, which is getting a lot of attention, even though it's not even in operation yet, um, prompted the split between eBay and PayPal? Well, you know, as I mentioned previously, uh, I think that the circumstances have changed a lot in the last couple of months. Now that we know Apple Pay is a thing, uh, I think mobile payments are going to be incredibly invigorated over the next year or so, um, especially also because, you know, the chip and pin uh, regulations that are coming up, people are going, or retailers are going to have to implement things like NFC, or they'll have new stations that allow for things like NFC. So things like Google Wallet, Apple Pay will take off. And it'll be interesting to see where PayPal fits into that space. They have the partnership with Samsung where, you know, you use the equivalent of Apple's Touch ID on the Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, to make a payment and it's PayPal that handles it. Uh, the fact that competitors like Stripe, Square, Amazon are all coming into the space at once, I think will do a lot to reinvigorate PayPal also in that, you know, assuming that this, they go public and they have a lot more cash to work with and freedom, it's going to be interesting to see how they take on. Who are they going to go for? One of these competitors? Are they going to say, "Hey, we want to move into you know Square's space now that we have like hundreds of millions, however many billions to play with?" Um, it'll be interesting to see if it tries to step into other territories or kind of lock in what it's you know known best for being like the universal like, you know payment system across the web. Yeah, you mentioned Google. Um, not that I have any insider information into how interested Google might be in something like PayPal, but how much do you think that PayPal could be ripe for an acquisition from one of these larger companies that could really uh, use a good partnership like this? Well, 
Google's a good example because, you know, with Google Wallet, they've been trying for years to get into mobile payments, especially like using NFC to do things in person. Mm -hmm. um, so, it, yeah, it's not crazy to say like, oh, maybe they would need PayPal. But there's also, you know, other players in the space that could probably use a little help. Um, comes to mind is Microsoft. Uh, you know, now that Nokia is going to be absorbed into Microsoft proper and they're going to be making their own Lumia phones, you know, it's going to be expected that you have something like Google Wallet or Apple Pay. Maybe they could roll their own. Microsoft is certainly big enough to accomplish something like that, but it might be useful to have experience coming in from someone like PayPal. Mm -hmm. 